Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we have got episode number 6 of my Building a Nation Challenge series here on Football Manager 2020, where I am managing not just the Mumbai national team, but also the Indian national team as well. Because one team is not enough of a challenge, is it people? And so, today, we have got just the one game for you, as we are taking on second in the league, Kolkata, for what could be a difficult game. And before I catch you up on how we've been getting on since the last episode, as you saw in the intro, it has definitely been a case of our parent club, Manchester City, coming to our rescue. Because if we have a look at our transfers... First up, we have had one player leave the club. Serge Kevin has gone to Mohun Bagan for £20,000. He didn't really do too much for us. You can see there, two and a half star, three star potential ability. He played twice for us, got a 6.65 average rating. So to get some money for him, I'm very happy with that. But Man City definitely to the rescue we have now had three loans off them the first one that we've had since the last episode is DiMaggio Wright Phillips we know all about this beautiful human being here on this channel he is tearing up the conference north in my Kingsland save and so I had to try and bring him here and he has done quite well so far for us if we have a look, he's played two games, he's got himself two goals. So I am very, very happy with that as far as the league goes. He has played in the cup as well, but that was a bit of a nothing game. I'll catch you up on that in a minute. And so yeah, he has started in this league very, very well. And then following him in as well from Man City once again is Felix Nemecha, who is a five-star current and potential ability player, 19 years old. Both these, this White Phillips and the other fella, Mohamed, who we've all got in from Man City, we are all paying zero for. So I'm very, very happy with these deals. And Nemecha, so far, has done reasonably well for us. He, again, has played two games. He's got an average rating of 6.9. And is likely to be becoming our starting central midfielder. Because Larby, what's his first name? Is it Mohamed? It's not Mohamed, is it? Yeah, it is. I do remember my players' names. Mohamed Larby is leaving the football club. He's in the process of agreeing a deal with the Kerala Blasters. As you can see there, £45,000. That's 40000 up front and then 5000 in add-ons and instalments. And part of the reason I'm doing it is because it all fits in to my new ethos. Is that the right word? My new idea for what I want to do for the club. And that's basically get rid of all the old foreigners. I want all the old foreigners gone so that each that by the time next season starts, our oldest foreigner is going to be 24, 25, at a push 26. And so, yeah, that goes with regards to that deal. And also, you can see we are paying Larby 2,700 per week. So if we can get that off the wage bill and we've got a replacement we are paying nothing for, that's a win, 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 win in my book all day long. And so, you know what? Let's catch you up on how we've been doing since we was last together, which was for the Guwati game. And with that own goal, which I'm still angry about, if you haven't seen this own goal, Oh, I'll show you it now because, oh my gosh, you will not believe it if you haven't seen it. It was an absolute nightmare. I'm still angry about it. Um, yeah, it was just, ah, oh, my, my head just went at the time. As here we go, finally the game thinks, you know what, I'm going to do is I'm told bad jokes. 
I'm going to be nice to you for once. And here we go. Loading, 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 load high. Loading, loading, loading. And here we are. It was them coming forward with the ball. Asamoa Gian, the ex-Sunderland flop. And still no idea what he did there. Still absolutely no idea. Absolute nightmare of a goal. Horrible way to lose a game. But since then, we've played three games and won them all. 3-0 first up against Moen Bagan in the FA Cup. Well, not the FA Cup. I wish it was the FA Cup. It's the Hero Super Cup third round. Aminu Mohamed with a hat-trick there for us. An absolutely brilliant start for the lad. How many goals is that he's got for us so far? He has got... In total, five goals in six appearances. So he is taking to this league like a duck to water. And then following that on, we had another game against Moen Bagun ten days later. And again, another win. This time 1-0. DiMaggio Wright-Phillips with the winning goal in the 12th minute. And then in the league again, we had a 2-0 win against Hyderabad. DiMaggio Wright-Phillips and Aminu Mohamed with both the goals. You're starting to see now why I've called this episode Man City to the rescue. Because that has not pushed us up the league too much. But it's got us away from the relegation zone where we was starting to drift down to a little bit. And now we can maybe start thinking about the top half again, like what we was hoping at the start of the season. And so, yeah, how many points is that we're on? 15. And so, 6th is 19. 4 points behind that. 5 points behind 5th. And you know what? Top 4 is really important in this league. We're not a million miles away from that position, so you never know. And the reason that top four is so important, just in case you don't know, is that in this database, all the top four get prize money. So we need to be getting that so we can keep competitive with the other teams next season. And so with all that waffle out of the way, let's go and check out the team for today's game. We have got Amrinder Singh in goal, both at left back. Jingen and Gurdjit are still our centre-back pairing. Galoy is in at right-back. And in the midfield, this is the new formation we've been going with over the last few weeks. Can't remember if you saw this in the last episode or not. But we are going with Chakraborty as a ball-winning midfielder on defend. Borges as a deep-lying playmaker on support. And Nemecha is a Mazala on support as well. That has been working very, very well. You can see there, Borges is on a 7.3 for his last few games. So it's definitely doing something for him. And then we've got Daxina Murphy on the left-hand side. Wright Phillips on the right. And Aminu Mohamed up top with a 7.54 average rating in his last five games. I am feeling confident for this. Uh, let's see what the bookmakers are saying. They have got Kolkata as big favourites. Oh, I know they're second in the league, but I think this is going to be more competitive than what they're saying. So they're giving them 1-3 to three on to win the game. We are 7-1 to one to win it. It's going to be a lot closer than that if I have anything to say about this. I'll be back with you boys in a second when we're in the dressing room. We're in the dressing room with the lads. And as ever, my assistant has done absolutely sod all. So let's go assertive with the team talk. Um, I want you to pick up where you left off. A few of them are motivated. I have faith. I have faith. And can we get Mohammed looking motivated? Relaxed. I'll take that. And now prediction time. That bookmaker's odds has really thrown me. Uh, I'm still going to go for it. 2-1 us. 2-1 us. Come on, Mumbai. Five minutes into the game, we've got the ball. Borges with it. 
plays it back into the centre circle, but it's only been picked up there by a man in red and white. And it's Krishna coming forward. He's into the box, goes for the shot, but thankfully that was very poor and only hit the side netting. 11 minutes in now, DiMaggio White Phillips with a corner for us and we've got the header but Mohamed's header has gone over the bar. Five minutes left in the first half, it's them with a free kick and that's a very poor one that Singh picks out of midair. And now can he start us on a counter attack? He goes short to Bose and what can our fullback do with it? He's gone long and it's gone nicely to Mohamed. And now what can he do? Goes back to Jingen, our central defender. He's gone out wide. Daxina Murphy has a little bit of space here. Can he get the ball into the box? No, he can't. It's blocked. Edu Garcia on the edge of their penalty area. Plays it out to the left-hand side. Souza adds forward. And it's Krishna coming forward. And, oh, that's a very poor shot. We have got very lucky there. But immediately following that, they've got a corner. We've headed it away. Idafadika, Souza adds. And that's cannoned off our man as our keeper made a mad dive there. And oh, that is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil. Five shots they have had. Two are four. Two on target we've had. And they've had the only clear-cut chances, but they've failed to get any on target. They've had 53% of the ball. Two are 47. So, for a game, we're supposed to be 7-1 to one to win. I would have put a fiver on us before this. And so, let's go team talk. Let's go assertive. We owe cold cutter. Do we say that? Or do we go, you've been unlucky? We owe cold cutter. A few of them are motivated. One more is motivated there. And, ooh, that's not the best half-time team talk I've ever delivered, is it? Come on, surely we can win this game. Surely, surely, surely. Okay, 25 minutes left to go. We've made a couple of substitutions and we've changed the formation up just to try and force a result here. Felix Nemecha has had quite a poor game, so I've taken him off for Adam Marriott, who is now partnering Mohamed up top. And Mohamed Rafiq is coming on for Suvik Chakraborty in the ball-winning midfielder role. And as for our tactics, we are now going hit, 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 Spencer, words, words, mate, YouTube, hit early crosses, focus play through the middle, we're still going for that. And anything else we have changed, more direct passes, and I think we've left everything else as it is, yes we have, and so... We're going to give it another 10 minutes and then maybe push the line of engagement up. That's a possibility. So let's see how we do for the next 10 minutes. Come on, lads. Okay, 15 minutes left now. Still nothing happening. So we have gone for a higher line of engagement. And we are now playing extremely wide. And playing the ball down the wings. And go shoot on sight as well. Why not? And much higher tempo. Please just give us one goal. That's all I want for today. Please, FM Gods, if you are watching. Well, that's the full-time whistle. Not many highlights in that second half. The game is finished nil-nil. They've had 14 shots, 2 are 9. 4 on target, 2 are 3. They've had both the clear-cut chances and possession did finish split right down the middle. So, you know what, lads? That's not a good enough game to be bringing you on its own. So, we're going to go, you are unlucky, or oh, well done, lads. Well done, lads. I'll go for that. And they're all extremely delighted. So, what we're going to do is I'll come back with you for the next game in just a second. See you then. Oh, no. We come back just before the game, well, a week before the game, because Aminu Mohamed is out for three to four weeks. Our star striker is out. Oh, my days. Gutted. What are we going to do up front? Find out in a minute when we come back for the next game against Guwahati in the Cup. Finally, we are back. 
That is just taken about 20 minutes to get from the last game to this because we've gone through European deadline day. And oh my gosh, does that day slow down my computer. Oh my gosh. But we are here now. It is against Guwahati away in the Hero Cup. It's the quarterfinal we are in. I'm not sure if we get any prize money for this particular competition. So let's go and have a look. Doesn't look like it there, does it, boys? No no prize money there. What about the semi-final? Again, no final? 10K. Is that it? I want to win a trophy, but I'm not going to be that arsed if we lose. Because we're going through all these games to win 10,000. I don't even think that pays my wages for a week for the team and all the staff. Rolos. Stupid competition. But anyway, let's crack on and let's get into the team for today's game. You obviously just heard that Mohamed is out injured. So Adam Marriott is coming in for him. He has played about eight games. I think I just got a message saying that he's played eight games without scoring. And yeah, he's only got one since he's joined us. So if he wants to refine his scoring boots, that would be rather beautiful right about now. And I think that is the only change to the team. Yes, it is. So let's go and see what the bookmakers have got to say about this particular game of football. The bookmakers have us as the favourites to win the game. We are 6-4 to four to win it. We have won three of our last five. They have only won one, drawing three, losing the other one. We've lost one and drawn the other game in our last five. So I think rightly we are the favourites. Here we are. Any guesses what the assistant's going to do? I could have told you that. Absolutely square root of absolutely nothing. And now, let's go assertive. We owe Gura Hattie. Most of them are motivated. Yes. And so, this is a tough one to predict. Because even with Adam Marriott, he doesn't score goals in this save. But Mohamed, our other striker, does. Uh... 1-0, 1-0 to us is what I'm saying. 11 minutes into the game, right finish with a free kick for us. Marriott with the header and we've scrambled it into the net but it's been disallowed for offside. Oh, that would have been a beautiful start to the game. And all oh, the line's flashing there. Even the line doesn't know if the fella was offside or not. And I'm guessing by the fact the replay got cut short, he wasn't offside. So we have been absolutely robbed there. And now Theo, with the goal kick for Guay, goes wide to Tiang. And now can we win this ball back? Come on, oh, it's crossed and it's been blocked. Lacra now crosses it in again. We need to get this away. And oh, what a save there from Singh. He's realised against Guati, you've got to keep the ball out of the net. Oh, they are all over us at the minute. Chavez with a free kick and they've had a header and that's gone over the bar. 21 minutes gone in the game. Daxina Murphy coming forward with it, loses it there. Sing with the ball long and goes to Jingen, our central defender. He again tries to play it long. They've headed it away, but our man Borges has got the ball. Gone to Nemecha. And Nemecha, can he play it forward? Nope, he's gone wide to right Phillips. Borges is in. Can he put it in the back of the net? No, he can't. Decent save there from our keeper. But I liked how we moved it around with a passing. We're doing some good football right now. And Wright Phillips with the corner from the left-hand side gets headed away. And Wright Phillips now again. Is he going to cross it in? Yes, he is. Daxina Murphy with the header. And again, it's been saved. And that is the half-time whistle. It's still nil-nil. Please, I would love to see one goal in this episode. Please, Miles and all the other FM gods, give us one goal. Guwahati have had six shots, two are nine. 
They've had two on target, two are five. We've had one clear-cut chance apiece and 56% of the possession we've had. So really, you would think we should be ahead. But hopefully it's not going to be too much longer until we are. And now I'm going to go... You've been unlucky? A few of them are motivated. And now go for the old Georgie, Georgie, Michael. One, two, three, four, five people. So about half the team have had some kind of reaction. Come on, come on. One goal. That's all I want. Five minutes into the second half. Their keeper kicks the ball long. Goes to Tiang. But he just chests it down for our man Bose. Goes inside to Jingen. And he's tried to go long. And Marriott loses out there. Putia with the ball. Back to Komorski. He's gone long. Gurdjic with the ball over the top. Marriott. Come on, Marriott. If you was in a blue and gold shirt, you would have buried that. But not in our black shirt today. Just under half an hour left to go. Gray with the ball. They're playing it around. Can our keeper get this? No, he can't. Yes, he can. What a save. That was a world-class stop there. 20 minutes left now and Guwahati are all over us. Chakraborty to Bose. And can Marriott nod this down? Yes, he does. And Wright Phillips is in oceans. Wright Phillips is in oceans. Take after your granddad. And he's hit the post. Oh, oh the highlights are all non-stop now. It's them with it. They've had a free kick. And Goss with a goss awful head out, which has gone over. Oh, I'm trying to make a substitution here, but every time I do try, we get a highlight. So let's see what happens on this one. Right, Phillips has again missed it. Oh, now let's make... No! Oh my gosh, I would like to make a substitution, please, game. And what we got, 15 minutes left, and I'm being told to maybe take Galoy off because he's been booked. I'm not going to do that. I think he'll be okay. As now Guwahati with the ball, and they've crossed it into the middle, and Singh has caught it. Now, what is he going to do? He's gone wide to DiMaggio Wright Phillips. He's gone. Demaria is on. In a blue and gold shirt, he puts this away. No idea what is going on with him here. I might have to have a chat with him after the game. See if I can get his confidence back up. As now, Wright Phillips with a corner from the left-hand side. It goes over everybody and to the main man, Adam Marriott. Can he play it to someone? Yes, he does. Borges, can he find someone? Nope, his cross is blocked. Still can't make a sub. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm, that's how frustrated I'm getting. I would like to make a substitution, please. Ow, that's really hurt me hand. And now, what are we? Still the highlight going on. Gurgits with it goes all the way back to our keeper. Singh is taking his time and he's gone wide to the other side. Daxina Murphy. Come on, he's played it out wide. White Phillips is in again. Come on, come on, son. Oh, how many chances are we going to miss today? Still, Wright Phillips is everywhere in this game. He's crossed it. And, it, oh, penalty. No. Oh, now I can make a change at last. And let's see, what are we going to do? We are going to take off Daxina Murphy, possibly. Uh, Mohamed Rafiq, where's your best position? Central midfield, crossing of four. Nope. Okay, Daxina Murphy is saved. And Mikado, you're Mizala on attack. And again, the match has been quite poor. So we're going to put Mikado on. And put him on attack like he likes. And Fernandez, I think you're quite a decent deep line playmaker, aren't you? You've got seven passing. So you are coming on in place of Borges. And so 10 minutes left. I've got no idea if this is going to extra time or a replay. If there's no goal, obviously. Obviously, I'm hoping there's going to be a goal. And let's go confirm the changes. And let's find out. Oh, two minutes left. We've got a free kick here, which is basically a corner. It's gone to Jingen. Chakraborty with a long shot. And that one's been blocked. And now, can he find a teammate? 
goes back to back to Galoy, and now Mercado to Gurdjic, Gurdjic with it into Fernandez, and he's played it into the box, and absolutely nobody was there. Three minutes left of injury time. I I've got a feeling this is going extra time, but don't quote me on that. As now Singh with the ball goes to Goss. And now can we get the ball away? Yes, we do. Mercado. He goes over the top. Daxina Murphy is in. And now I've got no idea if he should square this or not. He's crossed it. No, he's gone for the shot. Yes. What a goal that was. Vignes Daxina Murphy with a late, late, late goal here. We are starting to specialise in late goals on this channel. If you don't know what I'm on about, go and watch yesterday's Pro Evo video. But that was a beauty from Daxina Murphy. And now, let's go balanced. And hopefully we can see this out. Come on. Two and a half minutes left to see this out. Fernandez with the ball out wide. Vaz heads it away. Eslava now. Surely they're not going to get an equaliser. You would hope not. Goss with the ball. Eslava now once again. He goes out wide to Kadam. And he's crossed that in there. Gurgis has headed it away. He should have let his keeper get it. Are oh, they going to get an equaliser, aren't they? Oh, oh, what? What? How is that a penalty? How is that a penalty? And oh, the drama is not over. The drama is not over. Milan Singh with only his second of the season. Oh, my days. Let's go attacking again. Let's go attacking again. Extra time. This episode is not ending yet. Let's go dressing room. Uh, what do you say now? Uh, don't let this slip away from you. And a few of the lads have got confidence. And so I'm going to leave it at that. Please no penalties. Please no penalties. Please no penalties. 32 seconds into extra time. Chakraborty to Bose. Goes back to Jingen, who tries to go over the top. Marriott is in. Come on, can he score this? No, he can't. Oh, how many times do I have to say it? But in a blue and gold shirt, that goes in 99 times out of 100. And now, five minutes gone in extra time. Galoy with the cross. Daxina Murphy with the head out. And oh, I thought that was going to drop into the net. 101 minutes gone in this game of football. Fernandez tries to play it out wide, but that's a very tired pass. Why Fernandez is tired, I don't know. He only came on with like 10 minutes left. But now Singh with the ball. He's tried to cross it in. It's gone to Chavez, and that was always, always going wide. And that is half time in extra time. We have had 22 shots to their 15, 10 on target to their 5, 6 clear-cut chances to their 3. We have dominated this game. How we've not won it yet, I do not know. But let's start the second half of extra time. Please, still no penalties, still no penalties, still no penalties, please. Oh, 10 minutes left of extra time. Our keeper has caught the ball off their corner. And now, can he start us off on a counter-attack? He's played the ball long. And can Marriott win this? He does. He's away from his man. Can he, can he run? Don't think so. He's looking tired. But Bose has won it there. And he's given it away. This is very much looking like it's going to be penalties. I think both teams are very tired. But now, Eslava with the ball on the right-hand side. Away to Singh, who plays it forward to Kadam. And can we win this back? Come on. No, we can't. Eslava, Singh, Chavez on the edge of our box. Singh with a long shot. It's hit the post. Putia with a great chance there. But our keeper with the save. 
but it was offside anyhow. Ah, the FM gods are not being kind to me today. Let's go auto-pick for the penalties. Let's see who it suggests. And okay, so our first five are going to be Mikado, Marriott, Gurdjic, Fernandez, Jingen. Let's hope that's all it takes. Come on, come on, Mumbai. Mikado, two step up for our first penalty. He runs up and he puts the ball home. Nicely done there, right into the corner. And it's Komorski to take Guahati's first. He runs up, he goes for the shot, and it's off the bar. We've saved it. Yes, that is the perfect start. But now, Adam Marriott, very low on confidence. He puts the ball down, runs up, hits it, and he's missed it. Oh, his lack of confidence. I think I'm going to send him back to England at the end of the season. But now, Singh... Can he start Guati Sing when they're, stuck, when they're scoring? Butchered that joke. And he's butchered that penalty as it's hit the post. And so, two penalties taken each. Still only R1 scored. Can Gurdjieff make it a second scored for us? No, he can't. This is one of the worst penalty shootouts I've ever seen. Chavez now for Guwahati. Can he level the scoreline? Let's hope not. He runs up. He hits it. And oh, back of the net. So now that's what? One, two, three. Taken a piece. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Yep. And now Fernandez with our fourth. He runs up. And he fires it. Now I thought that was a decent penalty. But their keeper got to it. And now, oh, gosh. Oh my gosh, don't you dare score. Goss has begun his run up. He runs up to it, he hits it and it's in the back of the net. This penalty shootout has gone on its head. And now who's our last one again? I have completely forgotten. Is this even our last penalty? Yeah it is, isn't it? One, two, three, four, yep, this is our last one. Jingen, the central defender. Not feeling confident here, lads. Not gonna lie. Jingen now. Come on. Just smack it. Hit it as hard as you can. Down the middle. Oh, he's put it into the corner. But we are into official sudden death. And now, how long is this penalty shootout going to go on for? I apologise. This episode's going to be a bit longer than usual. But I'm sure you're all enjoying the drama. Is it, is it their keeper stepping up to take one? That's a bold choice for your sixth keeper. That's a team who wasn't expecting this to go to, go to sudden death. As my throat is going. Theo with it. And oh, that's a very good penalty. Oh, I, I've made a miscalculation there. And we have lost that game of football. Just as I'm losing my voice. Oh, that's a good time for the episode to be ending. And now I'm going to use the last of my voice to shout at this team. Because we should have won this. And they are all motivated. Thank God for that. And alright then guys. That's where we are going to leave it very quickly. While I can still speak. If you've enjoyed that video. Please give it a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM content and more Pro Evo content as well. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming and subscribe to all the Passion for FM YouTubers and go and follow all the Passion for FM Twitchers and check out the Passion for FM website, Discord, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Check all that stuff out. And yep, guys, I'll be back with you tomorrow for a very exciting Walks to Prem episode. Last four games of the season in that save tomorrow. We could win the league in the first one. So come back and check that out tomorrow. I shall see you then. Arrivederci.